and welcome to yet another tutorial. My name is Carolina and today I'll show you how to make this super easy kimono robe using my pattern called Camilla. You can buy this pattern from my Etsy shop, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. First we are going to start with patch pockets. Fold the top edge by 1cm, press it and then fold it again by 4cm and sew those edges. Next, overlock all three edges and back the pocket out. Use scissors to make sure that the corners are nice and pointy. Then fold the edges by 1cm and press them down. Stitch folder bit of the pocket as close to the edge as possible. Now your pockets are ready to be placed on the front panels. Measure 47 cm from the shoulder down and 6 cm from the side. This point is where the top corner of your pocket will be. Place the pocket and pin it down, making sure that the outer edge is 6 centimeters away from the side. Then you can top stitch all three edges. Moving on, take front panels and pin the shoulders together with the back panel. Then sew and overlock both raw shoulder edges. Fold the sleeve in half and place it on the armhole edge, making sure that the middle of the folded sleeve is on the seam line of the shoulder. Then you want to pin it down, sew and overlock the armhole edge. Now, before we'll sew sides together, we have to make button loops. Take three belt loop pieces, fold them in half, stitch so they're at least 1cm wide, then trim the excess fabric and back them out using a loop turner. As a final step, you want to press them flat. Measure 11 cm down from the armhole, insert your belt loops and secure with pins. Then sew sides together, overlook the edges and press the seams nicely. Moving on to the hem, fold it by 1cm and then again by 5cm and top stitch close to just folded edge. Pin 
Pin and sew the two collar bands, shoulder edges together. Match the collar center seam with the center back of your rope and start pinning to the left and to the right of the rope aligning the row edges together. Insert the hanging loop to the neckline and stitch around the entire front opening. Press the collar band away from the rope. Then fold and stitch where the collar band ends, trim the excess fabric and bag it out. Pin it in place making sure that you cover the line of stitching as you go. Top stitch the entire collar carefully as close to the edge as possible. Finish off sleeves with a rolled hem by pressing the fabric twice to the wrong side, first by 1cm and then by another 4cm. Pin and sew as close to the inner folded edge as possible and remember to backstitch, then press it when you're done. As the last step we need to make a belt. Pin and sew the two belt's short edges together, then fold your belt fabric in half lengthwise and sew the long raw edges together at 1 cm seam allowance. Back the bell out and press it flat. Finish off the raw ends by tucking in 1 cm and top stitching the sides. To make this robe, I use two and a half meters of linen fabric, and the size I'm wearing is a UK size 8. This robe is meant to be a relaxed fit, so if you want it to be a little bit tighter, you can always go a size down. So that's everything for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.